only a lot. You see, for the Jews, it is the right thing. Tell them about the right thing. What is the right thing? My great, 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 great ancestors are all super rich people. I should be rich. I'm from a lineage of super rich people. So every Jewish child aspires to be like Father Abraham. In church, we only sing Father Abraham, Abraham, me too, Abraham. We just sing it up. But no, I understand. I make the connection. But one day I was flying across, I think, I was on my way back from one moment. And I was with my mind, and all of a sudden, something was And this was in the room, she said, to do. I took a look. But the Bible tells us that the church and the Jews, we have been made one. God is broken down the wall, the divine wall. All of a sudden, something hit me. Hey! The Jews are my dreams. They are not curses. The Jews are my dreams. Here, we seem to be the poor of dream. In the beach. Hello. Then I saw something. The Jews got something that the church can have. The church has something to do them. Not too many combined to do You get what Jesus said, I come to my life. The church has spiritual perspective. And he shot. Spiritual perspective. Spiritual perspective. Spiritual perspective. You know what I mean? Spiritual perspective. Spiritual Let's conquer the world. In one day, we can conquer the world. The Jews, money, wealth, <laughs> Hey, we cannot come for the world on one day. We need spiritual restoration. And you have this truth. We can walk across the world. Can I get it? Amen. You see, this was something that passed us for many years. With all the casting of all the demons that we can do. Why come? Because this war has two power that controls it. Spiritual power and economic power. But they got so there's only two powers on the face of this earth that controls everything this world. Spiritual power and power. You gotta have this two. You go to something in this world. And when God created energy, we have this two. Spiritual and ownership. When God called the nation of Israel out of Egypt, they have two. Spiritual, in the part the rich, they have all the gold and silver. They run. When God started a nation called Israel, same thing. Abraham has both spiritual and common. And then the kingdom of Israel, when they begin, they have spiritual and calm. David reigns. Solomon reigns. I mean, those are the beginning of the nation of Israel as a kingdom. They were the richest and the most powerful. Amen. Notice every time when God starts something new, there's always these two powers the spiritual power and the economy power. The church. For some reason, we have rejected the economic power, and that's why we are running on one engine instead of two. And the other engine can be just as easily gone if we would know how to start asking. Are you? We started asking. When the Lord spoke to me, this was about six years ago. Uncle, and we were in that, at that time, bringing in one of the richest men in Australia. And he was like someone that embodies what I believe in, what a Christian business should be. That it's not just about 
to be able to conduct business in a very morally right and, 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 and principled way. But only someone whose heart is 100% of the people. And this lie is the biggest lesson. I will give the power of choice and understand. This man is a close friend of ours. He was born in the midst. So, cannot stop. The only job he knows how to do was bring the and he comes from and this to get worse because his family background was such he is from a family for three generations that live in the world. Look at what kind of future is going on. There's no future for this family. But one day, he went to a really grand music and he got saved. And now again to say there was a missionary that lived in the same road where he was staying, and found out that this man received Jesus. So the missionary took upon himself to disciple. And that went on for a while. But what changed his life was this one day, it dawned on him. He is not just being a baby. He is not just a sinner saved from sin. He is not just a wretched man who was saved by God. He is now a child of God. He was a sinner. He's now a child. And when that understanding clicked inside him, something happened inside him that said, If I am the child of a king, I cannot be living this kind of life. What kind of a child of a king is this? I'm laying brick. I can't even read it. I am totally uneducated and my manners are horrible. So he made up his mind. I'm a child of him. I should leave my God. Let me put himself. And it couldn't happen to start Start educating himself. You know how he did it? He bought vision. So he's a visionary in his toilet, plays a visionary in his, in his lunch box, plays a visionary in places that he will always be. And he will just be over time. Today, he has a wall of se 72 feet long in his house. They live in a huge mansion built on the trees over acres of land in Africa. His family owns the one and only family-owned currency, gold, bullion, currency. 72 feet long with acronyms, certificates, honorary degrees, and he has written countless numbers of books, which comes out as bestsellers in the New York Times list. Bestsellers. You go to see, you go to Airway, he has a Rolls Royce that he drives. With the number plate, I am the son of a king. It's the understanding is very hard. Once you grab step, and then you begin to do what is necessary. To add in what needs to be added in, you will see the grace of God flowing in that promises of God. All of our lives were similar in some ways. We started out with nothing. That's the only thing we had. And we went on the trip as a car. But there is that continuous dissatisfaction in us. There was dissatisfaction in us. It is like, this is not right. Why are we so good? And one of the things that we did going, going back to our family, is doing Chinese school. For years, we live in shame, we live in uh, humiliation. So for the Chinese, Chinese school is a very important time. Every family member must be that. But you should never go back and Because all your brothers and sisters working in whichever part of the world, with all the job they're doing, you'll come back with gifts, very gifts to the parents. 
in much easier than that. And both of us, we can't even, we don't even have the money for ourselves. So we go back every day. For a period of time, we hate to work. Because we know, without hearing it, we could hear it in our spirit, what they are saying. These two young people, they are so foolish. They have wasted their life. We were in that place. Every time we hear it, we say, but inside us, like, God, there must be something. Something more. Something more. What we can do is change the way we put us to the earth. Then we convert us. And God asks us a question. And the interesting question is, when God asks the question, will you be a bit careful when I put an answer? Because immediately at the back of my mind was, what would the church do? Can a pastor do? What would my fellow pastors say? How would they respond to this? What would the community do? To fight all this negativism about being rich, about God being able to bless me to the point I can be above and not the truth. The priest of 50 minutes later, a jama of my chair stand in front of me and I said, Yes, Lord, I will be. Today we've got a few million to spend. We have to just understand. It was a joke. But it begins with understanding. And all this is to help us to fulfill what we want to do. God wants to do something. Change your understanding. What blessings are the factors? God wants you to have more. That's the hard question. Tomorrow we'll talk about the next step. Alright? Maybe anyone got a question before I finish? Anyone has a question? They saw us 
stop. And in the understanding, must listen, after that I'll tell you the truth. That the one that is born under that sun is the greatest king that will ever be. You Peter Daniel is a discouraged man. He wanted to show that this whole idea of the church that Jesus was for is a wrong thing. He set up a fund and employed some of the world's greatest geologists, historians, historians and archaeologists, and gave them one assignment. Go and find out what exactly happened. That day. Did the three wise men brought three little gifts that sit on Christmas cards? Did they travel alone or was it something more than this stuff? You know what he discovered? The pitch, and this is written, I have the report. I have the report signed by the head of that team. The value of what Jesus received at that time corresponds today to the equivalent of your city. US 147. They can sojourn in Egypt, no money. Where do you think Joseph got his money? Egypt was like America. He would think because Egypt was the most civilized country at that time. They went to sojourn in Egypt until the guy Herod died. Where did the money come from? There was money. Because the gifts that Jesus is. Why do you think Paul did not know Jesus told him he was rich? He came here so that we can become rich. He spiritualized that and think that he left the spend of that rich. But there's also another thing. You must understand this. Remember when the rich man, the rich young ruler came to Jesus and said, Lord, Master, what must I do to inherit the kingdom of God? What did Jesus say? If you would be perfect, and just please now, analyze what Jesus said. The question was, what must I do to inherit the kingdom of God? It was not a question of what must I do to be perfect. The question was, what must I do to inherit the kingdom of God? Jesus' answer was for something else. If you would be perfect, except in everything. Who's the only perfect person? Because Jesus gave all the gifts that he has received and followed. Jesus would not preach. One, two, and the disciple was like, God, our master, who can enter the kingdom of heaven because they have a whole network here. Nobody is able to do it. Jesus. I have to be the one who has to enter and put seven million dollars to the practice. Three of the most expensive commodity during that time. The Spirit of Jesus. They came in that Now, are there biblical evidence that pointed beside the out extra biblical evidence? And yes, you read it back to the Bible says with the three wise men. Now, listen, listen. Sometimes we don't read it in Jesus' life. The three wise men came to Jerusalem, right? And the Bible says, and his old boy trembled in fear. Why would Herod the king, with all his power and so much tremble and worry over three old guys? Hello, three wise men. Why would the whole city fear 
Just simply because a three old men came in and said, Tell me where is this king that is born? And Herod doesn't have to answer. Why would he be a king? He is a king. But you know what? Outside the walls of the city of Jerusalem were the armies that came to Jerusalem. Soldiers that came together with them protecting the gifts that they were to give to Jesus. Herod is worried because these three old men has an army outside and the three old men said, tell me, where is this baby that is born in Now you must understand the dynamics in those days. When a powerful guy asked for something, you better be answered. Correct? Correct. When a powerful person asks you something and he has an army to back up what he asked, you better give him something. That's why the whole heart of Herod trembled and they tell and give instruction to everybody, go and find out quickly. Because there's an army in the house. He was afraid to offend three wise men or he had gone. Because they didn't come along. They came with the elite soldiers that they had to protect the troops, which amount to 107 million US dollars for today's. You know, they get a kind of a bad, get a big problem. Right, brother? I have the full report. Signed by Peter Dick. Signed by the head of that team of leaders. Fully documented with all his historical the stories at that time. How gifts were given. And each gifts will bear significance to the stature of the Asian but the Western doesn't work. Remember I said, I repeat that. See, some of the things that we have are wrong thing is because we have been educated by Western theology. Western theology doesn't understand some of this. Because the West and the East are the East. Tell them that Jesus is from the East. Amen. Alright, I think I better close this. It's getting late. Thank you. Okay.